News, interviews, education. We are TNM News. Hey there, I'm back, Christine Sclafani, coming to you again for TNMnews.com to talk about what has been happening lately on the culture side of cannabis. But first, I must say, thank God it is Friday. I don't know what kind of week you guys had, but I am so glad that it's over and I am literally sitting here in my party pants, which is actually code for pajamas. <laughs> now let's see what is popular amongst our followers this week. The world famous former heavyweight boxing champ Mike Tyson is getting in on the booming cannabis industry action by founding a cannabis resort. Girls trip. Located in the Mojave Desert, the aptly named Tyson Ranch will be a place where folks can come together to use cannabis and learn about the different ways that it can be used to heal the body. The Tough as Nails pugilist is no stranger to marijuana as he claims that he has been using it for many years to deal with the nagging injuries he sustained during his storied career in the ring. Nope, I don't think we're talking about his bouts with Robin Givens. Considering his two decades worth of often brutal fights, we can only imagine he has had quite a few aches and pains to contend with. Ah, uh, some very sad news. I didn't even want to talk about this today, but if you haven't already heard, world famous chef, author, and travel show host, Anthony Bourdain was found dead in Paris last Friday from an apparent suicide. The host of shows such as No Reservations and The Layover, who was in the city shooting his latest episode of the CNN series Parts Unknown, was found dead in his hotel room at the age of 61. Bourdain was no stranger to illicit substances, having been very candid about his past drug use and sometimes even focusing entire segments of his programs to the different ways that cannabis is being used around the world. From covering how hashish is an important part of the culture in Morocco to learning more about bong in India, Bourdain never shied away from showing us more about cannabis use than his networks wanted him to. He will be greatly missed. Gosh, you gotta wonder, what could be so bad to take your own life? Prayers go out to the family. Over to the lighter side of things, on a recent episode of Watch What Happens Live with the always funny guy Andy Cohen, the handsome singer and songwriter John Mayer dropped in. The pair candidly talked about the many celebrities that they have smoked weed with in the past. Some notable names include Game of Thrones author George R.R. R. Martin and legend Willie Nelson. While we're not surprised that Willie and Snoop made the list, duh, Martin's inclusion comes as a bit of a shock since his marijuana use isn't very well known. You know, maybe if they gave the guy a strong enough sativa, he'd be able to finish the winds of winter sometime this millennia. <laughs> Just saying. The High Times 2018 Michigan Cannabis Cup took place this Saturday at the Auto City Speedway. The celebration of all things cannabis had many vendors and activities all geared towards weed enthusiasts as well as performances by several marijuana friendly musical artists like Atlanta's Ludacris and Waka Flock of Flame. Gosh, I wish I could have went to that. That would have been so cool. From exciting categories like best glass and best CBD edible, you can check out the full list of the different competitive categories along with their proud winners at tnmnews.com. Cannabis Cup festivals have been the source of many popular brands, and you are sure to be hearing more about some of the innovations from this year's festival. Come check out our piece about mental health benefits of CBD at tnmnews.com. CBD is one of the many natural compounds found in cannabis plants. While the Schedule One status of cannabis has made research into CBD and its potential benefits challenging, it is time and time again proven to be a very successful form of treatment for helping those suffering from depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, and many other health issues. With many side effects of the medications that are often the foundation of most forms of traditional treatment, we can see why many folks turn to CBD as an alternative medicine. Well, that's food for thought when you think about swallowing your next pharmaceutical medicine. Please be sure to leave comments or ask questions about any of our segments covering the ever-expanding world of cannabis. 
We love hearing from you all. At least, well, I do. Again, this is Christine Sclafani coming to you from TNMnews.com. Stay lifted, everybody.